More than a dozen people forced out of their homes by an overnight fire. That fire started in one mobile home and then it quickly spread to three others. Anita Roman spoke to a 12-year-old girl who was woken up by the fire and she gives us an inside look at the destruction left behind. The fire completely destroyed everything right here that was close to the window. Sara E. Vasquez walked through the charred kitchen of her family's mobile home this morning, her brother's room in the same condition. Right now, he doesn't have bed. All his clothes are um, so dirty. It was around 1230, the middle of the night, when the 12-year-old realized something was terribly wrong. I just heard like little picks, like pick, pick, and I thought it was finishing raining. And then um, all of a sudden, my mom gets up, she looks out the window, and then she sees fire, and then she starts yelling at everyone to come outside. The mobile home right next door was engulfed in flames. I immediately ran through the house, grabbed my 60-foot hose and ran down the back of the lots, started spraying water. She was grabbing the dogs and moving the cars just in case it decided to come up the uh, trailers. No one was hurt, but 14 people were left without a place to stay after the fire spread to a total of four homes, including Sarah E's. Three minutes, and then that's when everything started getting bigger and bigger, and, that, and then that's when the um, firefighters came. The Vasquez family hopes to rebuild with help from their insurance company. And even though most of their belongings were destroyed, they're relieved they made it out alive. Anita Roman, Fox 10 News.